What's up guys, this is Ben MSD, and today we're back in the Scrap Mechanic Survival Series. We're back at base. Now, in today's video, since in the last one, I basically concluded that all that base searching that I've done was a waste of time. Well, actually, I didn't quite say that. I said it wasn't a waste of time because I discovered a bunch of uh, resource areas, but I also remembered that I wanted to originally build here. And because of all the resources that are around this area, I am going to stay in this general vicinity. For the base, I'm going to craft a bunch of bricks. So I'm going to loop this. I have a bunch of cracked stone in here. I also have some bricks, it looks like, in there. I'll take some of the scrap wood. Um, I think I'll leave the metal in here for now. It also looks like... I have a decent amount of metal in there too. As I remember, I had a bunch of bricks laying around somewhere. I might have used them for my vehicle. It looks like I did. I have a stack here. This thing should probably make a decent amount. Oh, I have some cracked stone in here as, as well. Okay, so put that in here. Okay, so let's go check out where my base is actually going to be built. Once I get in my vehicle, there we go. Let's turn my headlights on. Let's drive right over here. I'm gonna build my base on top of this rock area here. So I think the first thing that I have to do is probably a little bit of terraforming, if you will. Like, I'm not gonna build it on that hill. Oh crap. Come at me, bro. Um, but this is where I have all of my stuff stored in. Yeah, I might as well place some of this random stuff that I have. I got some seeds, I have some dirt. Looks like I got some potato seeds. Uh, that's about it. Okay, so let's just put this on the ground. I got my spuds. Put those there. My beets. Where do I have those? Right here. Here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put my dirt down this here as well. Okay guys, basically, I'm going to leave my vehicle here. This is where I want to build my base. So I think I'm going to try to clear out as much of this forest as possible. Um, but I can generally drive up this like area. I think I might build like a driveway type thing over the water here. So basically the Haybots or the Red guys, which I don't think I have to worry about, could only attack the vehicles from this direction. Um, so, essentially, it'd be protected from three sides, and that the red guys can't even, they can't swim. They just basically float, or they basically just walk on the, the ground, or the floor of whatever body of water they're in. So, here, can I place? I can't. Ooh, that's a, so, this is the biggest issue. Like, you cannot place, see, I can't, I can only place the soil bag itself. I can't actually place it on the rocks. But I can place it here on that terrain. So maybe... I think I might leave my farm where it is, but I could maybe move it over here somewhere. Because this is kind of flat. But this is where I am going to build the base. In this video, I'm going to start building. I could build like a... You know what? This is actually the perfect size for my vehicle. I can just like put drive it up here, maybe put it on the lift here. I don't think a Haybot can climb this. They might not be able to. This this definitely is going to be safer than where I am living, in, like where I'm currently living in the uh, station right here, the mechanic station. I think, guys, first things first, lay the foundation. I'm just going to stick it right about on the top of this so I don't have any rocks poking through the floor of this. So then put this there, put this roughly in this direction. Does this interfere with my garage? Doesn't look like it does. And I'm already out of bricks. That was short-lived. But the good thing is, as I was talking about like quite a while ago, in fact, I wanted to build like this huge monstrous vehicle that could drive over the rock nodes. And in order to do that, I'm going to need metal. And if I have to get metal, that means I have to go grinding. And if I go grinding, I'm going to get cracked stone from the rocks. So essentially, this base is just going to evolve over time. And I'm not going to build it temporarily out of uh, scrap wood because I think I'll forget and it's just going to end up staying like that. 
so right now this is where my base is going to be I think because this is rather close I'm gonna stay here until I actually build the, the platform out a little bit but I'll go over the water have some support I might build even like a floor down and have this like overlook over the water I guess and because this is right next to water I plan on building a suction system that just constantly pumps water into a chest right here or if I build down somewhere over here and I could build an automated farm and pump it directly from this water into here so pretty much no matter where I put it it'll work really well and I think I could have like a fully automated farm system which is what I really wanted to do okay so we're here at the farm I think here I can steal from this get some scrap wood steal this oh this whole thing is like a solid piece here I'm gonna build down I'm just gonna replace it completely with scrap wood and I'll use this for building also guys let me know in the comment section if you want me to play any other games like such as um, say BeamNG Drive I have that game it's a really fun game I love it also Minecraft I'm not much of a survival dude in Minecraft, but I would definitely give it a try for you guys. Or even creative mode. It's not as exciting, like, because it's not surviving, but I can build some pretty cool uh, structures in Minecraft. And I already have built some pretty cool things, and I could give you guys a tour if you want me to. Just let me know in the comments section, because this channel is not solely on Scrap Mechanic. Uh, for the time being, it is. But in the future, I'm definitely going to swap it change it up and do something different okay so I have everything placed over here and I have just only 47 I'm gonna go check back at base and see if I have any new bricks that have been made see how much I got I won't have much I know that for sure okay so let's see how much we got almost a full stack not bad not bad how much is left in here okay there's actually a pretty good amount left in here so I think I might okay so I have a full stack and two extra so it looks like I can have two full platforms I might just have enough room to build a little bit of a base on there and technically guys I could build it out of scrap wood because I have tons of it and I have more than enough but I think just for the sake of having the whole base look good, I think I'm going to skip that. Okay, so let's go place this slab. But this hill is pretty steep, so I think I could build some sort of cool mechanism that would keep like the haybots out, or maybe even red guys, if they ever are an issue. Okay, so first I'm going to fix this. Then I'm going to extend this platform out like so. There we go. And that's everything I have. Wow. That went by super quick. Well, this platform is taking shape though. It's decent size. I'm not wasting too much space underneath. Maybe I could even put the vacuum pump system underneath here. Have like a hole somewhere. And just have it come right up into a chest. Because like right now I only have two, two big chests. I think I also saw some beeswax. Oh, I just got stuck. Yep, I got some beeswax over there. Maybe that's farmable. Maybe I could find a way to farm beeswax. If I have like a pump system or something like a spud gun that breaks it and then a vacuum pump that sucks up the materials, then I could do some experimenting and see what the spawn mechanics are for that and see how often it'll spawn back. Because the as far as I know, beeswax does like respawn where it was before okay so I think actually I'm gonna build a staircase out of scrap wood right here just so it looks a little bit nicer that looks good it's fully functional perfect I think I'll build one here too actually you know what I'm gonna leave this blank guys so what my big overall plan is and I think I'm going to wrap the video right after I explain this because it's kind of getting a little... It's going to be a short video, but it's going to be a more informative video of what is definitely going to happen. Because now that I have a plan, it is going to look absolutely insane when I'm done. 
because once I once I have a mindset of doing something, I'm gonna definitely try my best to do it, especially something as simple as building a base. Um, but basically, what my plan is, extend this platform out this way and over here. This is going to be like a parking garage area for my exploration vehicle or my tiny vehicle. Like right now I have a multi-purpose one, but eventually when I rebuild it, I could store this here because it should be, it should fit in this area and it, this is all flat. Then I will extend out this way my base, so I'll probably have like maybe if I build my resource or my research vehicle big enough, my expo vehicle big enough, I could have a resource collector and every time I back up here it could suck it up with a vacuum pump. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'd have a platform out this way, come through here. This rock might get in the way, but overall, I think it'd be fine. Um, I could put my resource collector, that would def that's go going over here. Then I'd have my refine bot, probably with the resource collector, because those go together. Then my uh, craft bot, that's what I'm trying to think of. That would probably go over here, over the water. And then I'd build down. Because I have tons of room. I could build over the water even and cover this entire surface. That would be a huge undertaking and I don't think it'd actually get done. But it would be kind of cool to attempt. Um, but basically, build out and then build down. Have a suction pump system that sucks up the water. Puts it in chests so I have an unlimited water supply. To probably do the same over here. Then I might eventually build an automated farm system. And if I'm building an automated farm system, I might as well just fill up this whole entire, like, little, this area between this water and that water. So then bots only spawn on either side. I think that would help control, like, the big raids because I can have only two sides of where the bots will actually attack. The biggest issue, guys, is when I build big vehicles here. Because if I build a big vehicle, it's... I'm gonna have to park somewhere and I can't exactly like if I build a huge box truck for food crates there's no way that's gonna make it up this hill when it's fully loaded with stuff so what my idea is I have a platform that extends out this way somewhere over here or maybe just start the platform over here so it's not so close to the uh, farm have it come here then I can have a basically a parking lot for stuff and have maybe a drawbridge or something some system that keeps haybots from attacking it and I think that would be pretty cool um but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video um as I said a little bit ago it's definitely shorter but I think it's I think it's a pretty good video we got a lot got a lot done we got a lot planned definitely a lot planned this theoretically I should be able to finish this base within the next 10 episodes that's a lot of episodes but I think I could finish by then because um, I do have a lot of stuff to do but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe check out my other scrap mechanic content and I'll see you next time